Yo, what's up guys, John Boogle here, and it is here, the long-awaited Mina guide, finally it is here, LTL, learn to love, and in this level there's really only one solid strategy, and I'm pretty sure all you guys have seen it by now, but in case you haven't, here is this video, and this level is a pretty big joke, it looks intimidating, assassin bears, noirs, brawlos, sunfish jones, then of course the Mino with crazy crazy range, but this level is actually a big joke if you could time the beginning right. But anyways, let's hop into the lineup and here it is. This is very very possible no gacha, so you could pretty much use a gacha lineup if you have better gacha units. But this is the no gacha burst damage lineup and we do have level 30 craze cats, but it does work with level 20. It's just going to be a little bit more risky, but I do recommend bringing gacha units if you do have them. And I'll hop into the gacha lineup after we go through the first run. And I'll show some example runs with gacha in the lineup so you get an idea of what to use. And this is where the whole treasures things comes back to bite you. This is why I said treasures is so so damn important because you will need all the treasures for this level if you are missing even a single cat base treasure you will get demolished so i do recommend getting all of the treasures this is the last stop if you haven't gotten all the treasures by this point i do not know what to say because you are going to struggle a lot now of course i am recording this way after i've already beaten the level and done it a couple times already so my levels are a bit boosted or higher so the minimum level of requirement i would say for this stage definitely get your basics at to at least plus 20 that is the minimum if it is below plus 20 you are going to struggle a lot but here we go here it is as soon as you start off this level yes you do want to bring a rich cat so rush the hell out of the cat base as soon as you start off. Mina will come out and this is your chance to get as much damage as possible on Mina but be careful not to over push because you don't want to stall those hyenas too long. So once both of them are out here this is what you want to do. It's pretty much the same thing you've seen in a whole bunch of Mina videos. Lure the hyenas to your base and take them out with a Bahamut. And how you do that? Get them synced up a perfect way to do it is to let them hit the cat base so they are both synced up. Use your laser so they are perfectly aligned and then just A Bahamut the rest. As you can see after you do send out A Bahamut immediately send out the crazed giraffe after that then it is time to bum rush the hell out of Mina because he's hitting the base and if you do not take her out in time she will destroy the base. And this has been the strategy for a couple years now and it's pretty much the perfect efficient way to do it. But there is one issue that could happen here. Jamera can knock back Mina and that may seem like a good thing. But if she gets knocked back behind the Sunfish Jones that does miss out on damage for Mina because Sunfish Jones will be in front of Mina. No Mina damage equals more base damage and more base damage equals death. So you can try to bring the second form for Jamera if it is high enough leveled. So you do not knock back Mina and just completely burst down Mina and kill her. But if you want to run the risk of having that extra stat boost and not getting Mina knocked back with that Jamera knockback go ahead and bring Jamera. but second form does work here as well and craze titan is there for backup too the strategy is simple once you get the beginning down you just want to stack up against mina just stack up everything against mina then once mina goes down it's just back and forth against the noirs and sunfish jones you just want to make sure you time your cycles correctly so you aren't sending your titans straight into three noirs' attack because then it will just get shredded. Time it right so it can at least 
get one or two hits off and then you're good for the rest of the level. And as long as you time those cycles right and your A Bahamut cycles are perfect, you do not have to worry about the assassin bears at all. The only problem is the brawlos, but that should be pretty easy to handle. Just stall, stack up dragons, and pretty much that's it. And that's pretty much the basis of the level. Just once again, back and forth for the rest of the level. Just slowly chipping down the noirs. Then once the noirs are down, the Sunfish Jones is very, very easy to handle alone. So that's not a problem. Just make sure you do time your A Bahamut right. And especially for the beginning. If you cannot time your A Bahamut right, the beginning will take a couple tries. But if you do not want to waste power ups, there is a way you can do it. If you do mess up in the beginning, you can just close your app and as long as you didn't die before you close the app you can open it up again and it will give you a retry on the level with your power-ups so you won't lose your power-ups and you do have a retry on the level from the beginning so you can just practice the beginning over and over again once you get a hang of it then you can go for it and equip on that treasure radar because yes you will need a treasure radar do not forget Mina is a droppable cat and you can use a treasure radar or you should absolutely use a treasure radar when you are ready and confident enough for the beginning of the stage. But yeah that's pretty much the basis of the strategy. Very simple and once again I'll hop into the gotcha counterpart for this stage in a second here but just some few things make sure you do grind your user rank i know it may seem like a tedious grind xp grind is pretty heavy but this is the mid game it is pretty grindy and that's just how it is in the mid game of this game so an easy way to get a whole bunch of user rank i would recommend grinding the lucky tickets when they come even though you do have all the little cats at level 30 already just getting the plus levels on them does help for user rank. It may seem small, but trust me, it does make a huge difference. So grind those, that's a good way. Grinding any droppable cats is also another good way. If you have some cat food, you can spend some on the cheaper options with special cats. Getting those to max level does give a lot of user rank and is very cheap to upgrade. So do recommend doing that but stuff like mother cat kung fu and all those i would wait for the discount and then get those but that's pretty much it i guess and the reason why i say get user rank because 3650 user rank that is the key user rank for the next half of this game because that's level 30 craze cats or level 30 mana cats and at 3600 it's level 25 but that extra push that extra 50 user rank and you can get level 30 craze cats which makes a huge huge difference so absolutely get that and you should be good for the rest of the game if you do not rush manically with your ubers yes you i'm talking to you that uber carries and here we go we're gonna go through it again but this time with the gotcha suggestions and everything in this lineup we did make one change and that is bringing actually the uber and that uber will help dealing with the noirs quicker but same thing once again the beginning is just luring and luring those hyenas not the mina but once two of them are stacked up lure them and then this is your chance to get them out as fast as possible a bahamut is one way to do it Balrog might work, I do not know, I haven't tried it, but A Bahamut is the way to go. So lure them, let them hit the base so they sync up, Cat Cannon, A Bahamut, Craze Giraffe right after. Then send out Craze Girls for support, it'll help with those Dark Doges or anything else really like Fishman and just spam Giraffes. Because this is pretty much the hard part of the level. After this is done and you got this whole beginning part under a wrap and down to a certain science 
then you can pretty much beat this stage with any decent lineup like stuff like Fishman, Maglev, Seafarer, pretty much anything that is high damaging, high DPS, low recharge and has a decent amount of health so we can take a hit from Sunfish Jones if that does happen. So camera is pretty good for this as well and of course stuff like Balrog I mean he will completely destroy this stage and there's other very solid options like Cutter or Can Can or just experiment around and find a perfect lineup for you and your cats and all your levels so you're just gonna have to figure that out if you do not have this lineup here or the previous lineup or the level requirements because if you do not have the levels for this stage that I mentioned earlier in the video then you will need some key gacha units like Fishman, Seafarer, Can Can, stuff like that high DPS high health units that recharge quick so you can take out the Mina pretty fast but yeah that's pretty much it um, I guess I could show one more lineup, but hey, if you think you got it, then you could try it out. But just in case there are people out there that do not know what I'm talking about, I will show another example lineup. But like I said, you have to build your lineup according to your weaknesses. Let's say you're having trouble with the Noirs, then build your lineup around taking out the Noirs once Mina is down, because that should be your main focus. Mina isn't really that hard to kill so do not focus too hard on just taking down Mina because there are other things in the level that can make you lose the level if you do not pay attention so keep that in mind. Once again the beginning is the most important part and it's crucial because if you don't mess up in the beginning you don't really need much units to take out Mina so you the rest of the units you bring are just for the battle after so I guess I could go through it in slow motion this time since it'll be a lot more easier to analyze for people who didn't get it so here it is once again for the third time let them hit the base laser and as you can see we actually sent out our Bahamut a little bit too fast but luckily it did not get hit the main thing is do not let your A Bahamut get hit because if it does then it will not be able to survive the Sunfish Jones and you want to deal as much damage as possible with A Bahamut to Mina and having that extra health does help so make sure you absolutely do not let Bahamut get hit or else you will risk losing the level if you do not take out Mina fast enough. If your Bahamut does get hit in the beginning here I would just restart because it will not go well at all so make sure you do not let Bahamut get hit. Once again if he does just close your app restart it back and there will be an option to replay the level. Boom you're back in the level from the beginning and you still have your power ups so Pretty easy if you get that beginning down, the rest like I've explained numerous times in this video already is to just stack up pure damage against Mina. And I think that should do it, that is pretty much it. The rest once again is pretty much anything else you can use and stuff that outranges Noirs is the safe way to go about it. but. You can use the cycle method by timing your cycles correctly so your titans or whatever you're using can get hits off on the war and not just get instantly murdered by them. So pizza does work and if you do get the right timing on it, it's kind of hard to time pizza because of that slow, slow movement speed but it does work and stuff like Fishman is a safer route and maglev stuff like that can can but yeah pretty much figure out the rest in your own lineup and testing and I'm sure you'll be able to beat it once you get the beginning down but yeah that's pretty much it for the Mina guide this was quite a lengthy explanation for such an easy level but hey sometimes you have to explain things 
twice or even more in this case since there are some people that won't get it the first time and that is actually a very common thing so if you did watch this whole video you should definitely understand by now how to properly beat this level and do it easily but if you are still struggling somehow then go to the comments there will be people there in the comments I will also be there trying to help you out so comment down below if you are struggling but yeah that's it for the Mina guide manic guides are coming up real real soon or they should be I hope I do have them edited by the time I upload this video cuz I'm probably following a schedule but what can I say Mina guide finally here and hope you guys did find this video helpful if you did make sure to drop a like also subscribe if you're new join the hashtag boo gang a lot of you guys are not subscribed so hey just click that button and you will join the hashtag Google gang but yeah that's it guys for this video manic guides very very soon it's been John Google and see ya